wanted you to get it. Life has no pleasure other than enriching. Anything else other than enriching drives you in your life. I am not saying you are wrong, but I am, all I am trying to tell you is, you are wrong. I will not say you are wrong, out of social politeness, but the truth is you are wrong. Anything else drives your life, reason for the drive, reason for pushing you to live, other than enriching. Please understand, it is out of powerlessness. When you internalize this truth, Enriching is the only purpose of life. In some form or other, constantly enriching others. Understand? I don't want to rest restrict enriching to only sending people to inner awakening. That is the greatest enriching, no doubt. But even if you are working in a shoe company, making shoes, you can be enriching. You are a part of the mechanism which provides shoes to people. Even if you are working, the field of agriculture, producing vegetables, oil, milk, you are in the field of enriching. But you have to be so sure, very clear, You have to be very clear and very sure. Please listen. Even in your deepest hypocrisy, the hypocrisy has layers and layers in you. Even in your deepest layer, you are not hypocritical about your goal, your purpose, your reason to exist. Just enriching. Other than enriching, if you find anything else as a driving force of your life, complete with it. Anything else, if it is a driving force in your life, it's powerlessness. It is powerlessness. Let the enriching be the one and only goal driving force in the life. Let the enriching be the only energy which drives you, which drives your intelligence, which drives
you, which drives you to the idea of fulfillment. Understand? Any idea of fulfillment you carry other than enriching, you are going to experience hopelessness and depression. Any hope you carry other than enriching will lead you to hopelessness. Life is far enriching. The purpose you got embodied, you purpose, the purpose for which you assumed the human body is only for enriching. Whenever I sit in front of Nityananda Ishwar or Kalabhairava, I look only at me and say, A, B, in the space of only enriching. Nothing else, nothing else, nothing else. Be in the space of only enriching. I tell you, When you enrich somebody with the inner awakening, you give the best things. Best thing to that person. He himself becomes a complete being. Understand? See, for example, you are in the field of engineer or lawyer or a doctor. If you understand whatever you are doing is enriching and continue to live, only you will be enriching. But if you give inner awakening as an enriching to others, you make others also enriching. That is the ultimate enriching. I tell you, most of us have a pattern of Fear of facing conflicts, fear of getting cornered. This is one of the biggest fear human beings carry. Please listen. Why people are not enriching others? Why you are afraid of enriching others into inner awakening? Because you are afraid of getting questions. You are afraid of facing questions. I tell you, exactly for that reason only you have to enrich. Constantly put yourself in a challenging positions, conflicting places, contradicting situations. Constantly put yourself in a place where you are cornered. I tell you, only then you will be alive, fresh, living. You will be radiating, you will be in your peak possibility. If you want to be successful in your business, start enriching people for inner awakening. You will constantly face conflicts, contradictions. You will put yourself constantly in a challenging positions, places that will train and sharpen your whole intelligence and consciousness you will be successful in your business. Listen. Why people don't want to talk to their friends or family or enrich others with an inner awakening? The powerlessness they feel, the fear of facing questions, Fear of facing questions. I tell you, when you start enriching people to live integrity, authenticity, 
first question they will ask you is are you living integrity and authenticity then naturally you have to declare yes i am living the moment you declared now you have become responsible for your word simply you have to live it otherwise they are going to constantly question you they are going to be constantly making fun of you so i tell you when you start enriching others you put yourself in a space in a situation where you live integrity authenticity you live the dhamma i tell you that is where you will really 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 live spiritual strength when you are enriching you have to make declarations because people are not going to believe you they will question you you have to make lot of declarations that declarations will make you live four tatvas more powerfully more strongly that is why i am telling you enriching makes you continuously getting enlightened enriching makes you enlightened i tell you if you can make your spouse and boss attend dinner awakening if you can enrich your spouse and boss with inner awakening i can say you crossed half of the journey towards enlightenment because these two are going to be constantly monitoring you they are going to be trying to find fault simple truth straight away anything 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 listen i can tell you 108 anything other than enriching is powerlessness only enriching is powerfulness operate only out of the cognition of enriching enriching others and you you can never achieve completion just by completion because just by completion you will not know please listen just by completion you will not know whether you are complete or not your self doubt will continue to rule you put yourself in the space of enriching others when you start enriching all the questions you face only when you answer them when you relate with people able to enrich people only then you will have confidence over you you will have confidence over you please understand you will have confidence over you till you enrich others your completion can never be complete if you observed even yesterday i said very clearly after blessing ma vishweshwara 
I told her, take up the project of graceful exit. Only when you share these experiences with others, only when you enrich the world with this experience, that gets strengthened in you. This experience does not get lost in your self-doubts. Otherwise, after a few days, oh, who knows what it is? Still, I carry this integrity, that integrity, that authenticity problem. You will create self-doubt and in that self-doubt, the strength of this experience can be forgotten, can get washed away. Don't allow that. So the essence of today's satsang, only with the enriching, completion becomes complete. Enriching is the war you wage for me. Because in enriching, you will face so many conflicts, which you are always afraid to face. I tell you, fear of conflicts, fear of getting cornered, fear of facing the controversies is one of the biggest powerlessness we have. We always feel, what others will tell? And he is afraid, what you will tell? We try to control everyone through our tongue and get controlled by others' tongues. This is what I call Maya, delusion. Let you all achieve, experience, live, express, radiate, share and explode in eternal bliss. Nityananda Nityananda Dhyana Peetam Nityananda Nagar Off Mysore Road Bidadi Bengaluru Phone 080-2727-9999 www.nityananda.org www.youtube.com Slash Lifebliss Foundation